Suppose two friends, Fatma and Aiza, want to share one roti. They tear it into two unequal pieces so that Fatima gets one third of the roti and Aiza gets the rest. Observe that these numbers are not integers. So, how do we define such numbers? Numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of P and Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not zero are called rational numbers. Recall that the set of integers is an infinite set containing all the odd and even numbers. So, the numbers 1 over 3 and 2 over 3 are called rational numbers. The set of rational numbers is denoted by the capital letter Q. The set builder form is written as Q equals elements of the type P over Q such that P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. What happens when Q is zero? Recall that any number divided by zero goes to infinity. So it is undefined. For example, 2 over 0 and minus 4 over 0 are all undefined. These numbers are not rational. So which numbers are rational and which are not? Let us look at a few examples. 2 over 10 is a rational number because 2 and 10 are integers and 10 is not equal to 0. Note that 2 over 10 can also be written as 0 0.2. In fact, all rational numbers can be expressed as decimals. 0 over 2 is also a rational number since 0 and 2 are integers. 0 over 2 is also equal to 0. So, 0 is a rational number as well. Note that the numerator in a rational number can be 0, but the denominator can never be 0. Square root of 2 over 2 is not a rational number because the numerator is not an integer. Rational numbers can be expressed as fractions, but not all fractions are rational numbers. Square root of 2 over 2 is a fraction, but it is not a rational number. Minus 3 over 1 is a rational number because minus 3 and 1 are both integers. We can also write minus 3 over 1 as follows. Since minus 3 can be expressed as a rational number, we can say that all integers are rational numbers. For instance, 2 can be written as 2 over 1. 7 as minus 7 over minus 1, and so on. Note that there are infinite rational numbers between any two consecutive integers. For instance, consider the integers 0 and 1. Some rational numbers between them include 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 2 over 3, and so on. Let us do a quick exercise. Which of these numbers belong to set Q? Take a minute and discuss with your friends. Let's look at the answers together. Minus 2 over 0 is written in the form P over Q.
and 0 and 2 are both integers. However, the denominator q is 0. Therefore, minus 2 over 0 does not belong to set q. 5 whole number 1 over 3 is a mixed fraction. We can simplify it to 16 over 3 so that it's in the form p over q. Since 3 and 16 are both integers and the denominator is not 0, we can conclude that 5 whole number 1 over 3 is a rational number. The square root of 3 over 1 is written in the form p over q. But square root of 3 is not an integer. So, this number does not belong to the set of rational numbers. Minus 4 is an integer. Recall that all integers are rational numbers. So, minus 4 belongs to set Q. In summary, numbers that can be expressed in the form P over Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not zero, are called rational numbers. The set of rational numbers is denoted by the capital letter Q and is written in a set builder notation as follows. All integers are rational numbers and there are infinite rational numbers between any two consecutive integers. All rational numbers can be expressed as decimals and fractions, but not all fractions are rational numbers.